Hey there, Brian Foley with Houston Criminal Defense Attorneys here. We are talking about Texas Real Estate Commission licenses or a real estate license. Will you lose this if you get a DWI or another criminal charge? Well, what you need to know is that in order to get a real estate license, you have to pass all the qualifications for the TREC or the Texas Real Estate Commission. And one of the things that they require is they require you to report any type of issues with character. They do a fitness test uh, based on uh, basically your moral character. And a felony conviction can be a big problem. It can, if you have a DWI that's a misdemeanor, that's a lot easier to deal with. And we are normally pretty successful at dealing with that, but it is something you have to report. The occupations code uh, requires you to report that to the TREC within 30 days of any conviction uh, or any type of a plea bargain. If you enter a plea of guilty, something like that. Now, if you are able to get the case dismissed, then that can lead to an expunction, which is a clearing of all your criminal history of all the government records of those things. It's really important to try to get that expunction if it's, if it's possible for you. Um, nobody can ever give you a guarantee of what's going to happen in a criminal case, but if you've got a real estate license in the state of Texas and you pick up a DWI, you can be sure that you're going to have to report that to the real estate commission and you're going to have to aggressively fight to avoid that conviction. DWIs uh, will accumulate and they can get worse punishments the more you get. So if you get a third DWI, that's a felony and that could definitely result in the revocation of your real estate license. So you definitely want, anytime you're charged with a crime, no matter what your occupation, you want to talk with an attorney who has experience handling the type of case that you have. Um, for real estate agents, it's even more important because you have that state licensure. Uh, even a non-disclosure is something that they're going to be able to see. So you've got to try to get something where it leads to an expunction. Um, or you can check with uh, an attorney, uh, you know, do it in person. Don't just watch our video. But give us a call so that way we can address your specific situation. Thanks for tuning in.